God damn, that's a big sword. That is a big sword. Welcome back to Sweet and Sour Gamers. I'm Aaron. I'm Xavier. That's a big axe. I still love just how enormous some of these weapons get sometimes. I mean, those are all great weapons. Hello. Big strong oh, ladies. So <clears throat> now, Leda, you are Bo. Bo are forbidden here in Gerudo Town. Only Bo are allowed inside. Bo? When I say Bo, I mean man, obviously. You don't know the difference between Bo and Vi, and you're trying to enter town. Why? When I say Vi, I mean woman, obviously. I mean, okay. Goodbye. Goodbye. All Bo must leave at once. Can I at least not just say hello at least? So Bo. Sorry, but in Gerudo Town, it is tradition that Bow are not permitted entry. We honor that tradition very strictly. If you need to prepare for a journey, you should head to the oasis near the desert's entrance, Kara Kara Bazaar. Sorry, Bow. <laughs> not Bow! Bow! Bites your bottom lip as you say it. Translate as a man in, our, as man in, our la in your language. So long as we're on the subject, Vi is another word for woman. What do you think? Pretty easy to remember? Mmm, strokes chin. Fairly easy to remember, yeah. Hello. Sava? Oh wow! Don't tell me you crossed the Gerudo Desert on foot! I came on foot. It must have been hard to walk through the desert, especially having your feet sinking in the sand. It's common sense to travel the desert with sand seals around here. My name's Prelly. I run a shop in Gerudo Town where I rent out sand seals. Most people can't take the time to train their own sand seals, so I rent out the ones I've trained. <laughs> if you need to know anything about sand seals, I'll be your first. I should be your first stop. How do I catch one? Sand seals are especially sensitive to sounds around them. The trick is to approach them very, very slowly. It's a pain in the neck, though, so most Gerudo just end up renting one instead. D yes, game, we know how to crouch. Just give it the shot, the shot is best, but if there's anything you can do, let me know. Steering your sand seal is really easy. It'll go whatever direction you want, but you need a shield to sand surf. Sand seal surf. So don't forget about that. Steer, let go, dash. You know the best way to learn how to do it is just by doing it. Uh -huh. Having a hard time catching one, come by my shop in Gerudo Town and rent out sand seals and ah, oh, mm -hmm. you're a bow. My shop is inside the town walls, so you won't be able to get in. Slowly. He's got a mohawk. Oh goodness me. Oh goodness me. Oh, you can slow down. Yeah, you're controlling the sand seal, not you. Weehaw! Probably get out the sand seal and, like. Go and talk to that. That guy again? Yeah. Because that's where the quest thingy is. Why did you let go of him early? Because I could just run to the guy. That was actually kind of interesting being able to do that. It's good to get yourself a company uh, acclimated to that. Because you need to do that for a, for a ah. thing. My plan is flawless. So I'm going to take a guess and say I think he's gone back to Karakara Bazaar. All right, Mr. Zanseal, I need, I need, I need you to take me to the, the bazaar, please. I think. Please, I think. Is that the divine beast? I, I spy yes, over there. Yes, it is. Shrouded by the sandstorm. No. Damn. Damn it. Okay, go slow. No, no, dude. No. As she said, they are very sensitive to sand. You don't have your, you don't have the Sheikah gear. Oh yeah, you're right, I don't. We didn't go back and buy it, because it's expensive as fuck. We should go back and buy it at some point. Yeah, probably. <laughs> probably. Probably. <clears throat> It'll be especially good when we decide we want to go in the Yiga hideout. Wait, the Yiga have a have an entire hideout? Well, where else do you think they go when they're, you know, not waiting to ambush you and try and kill you? I just kind of figured they lived in trees. <laughs> <laughs> 
Just a Yiga hanging upside down in the trees. Like, this is fine. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, jeez. That's a wall. That's a wall. That's a wall. That's I'm your buddy. Imported. It's all right. Coming through. Oh, goodness. There's that way. Yeah, he's got to try to follow the, the path. Ah. Okay, let's go fast. Yeah. No, A. Oh, it's cold. Oh, God, it's cold. Oh, God, it's cold. <laughs> he Look looks at that so shivery boy. He, he looks so adorable when he's freezing to death. I got thunder bats. Go away, thunder keys. I don't care about you guys right now. Keys and rope, not snakes and bats. God, that's so stupid. It's like it's not like the word snake is freaking. Oh, vulture! Vul, 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 vulture! Dragon fairy. <laughs> Yeah. Mine. There we go. Alright. <clears throat> Maybe you stop talk to that guy now? I need some clothing. Our boss, I get the feeling that he isn't coming back. Yeah, uh, the man's neck in. What? There's a man who got into Gerudo Town. Boss says that he comes here to Car Car Bazaar. Guess it must be true that the boss said so. Aww. I've never seen anyone around here who strikes me as a super sneaky guy. There was this pretty Hylian gal at the general store. It's unusual to see a Hylian girl dressed like a Gerudo. Her Gerudo clothes. I wonder where she bought them. Maybe if I wore those clothes. <laughs> nah, I'd be out of my own and all that sneaky stuff. Pretty Hylian girl, huh? I think that's where we probably want to go. Let me in the tent. No, you can't get in the tent. Let me in the tent. No. Hi Don't be rude. That's someone's tent. Let me in the tent. Oh. Hi, Beetle. Hi, Beetle. Beetle. <laughs> Just audible fucking sigh. Uh, I, I get that. Roots. Just fuck doing things in the traditional manner. <laughs> Do it as intraditionally as possible. Untraditionally. Uh, fuck words. I wouldn't fall off the ladder if I run out of stamina, will I? No. <laughs> there they are. Hey, look! Oh, hey, it's the Divine Beast. Mm. Oh my, what a lovely young lad you are. You need something from me? Mm. What's that? You heard about a man who snuck into Gerudo Town. Mm. Oh, I don't know anything about him. Sorry I couldn't be more help. Mm. <laughs> You're making my cheeks warm. Looking at me like that. <laughs> well, I can tell from the figure that it's a man. It's just a very broad... Like, he's got feminine hips. He's got feminine hips. And a good waist. But the broad chest is what gives it away. <laughs> You're very beautiful. Oh, this is a nice thing to say. And I'm sure you agree that these clothes only have my looks, right? When I think about it, this style would look quite fetching on you. I have to charge you, of course, but I bet people would see you completely differently if you wore them. What do you think? You buy them for 600 rupees? Yes. Oh. Is it you then? I'll take your rupees now. Gib Gibbs. Mm. <laughs> As a perfect outfit for you. Go ahead and change into it right now. Don't worry, I'll look away. <laughs> and now cross-dressing Link. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Adorable! Oh. <laughs> As I thought, you make quite a good looking gal. It's a traditional guru to outfit. It's such a striking look around here. I doubt anyone would even suspect you're a man. On top of that, it breathes so well, I'm sure to help you with the desert heat. At least a little. Mm. So glad I was able to help you out. Oh. Oh. Feel free to grab something to eat sometime. Keep me in mind. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Beard. <laughs> Make sure to watch out for the wind. He's <laughs> <laughs> just like. If you want to get more ladies' clothing? Come back anytime. <laughs> uh, <laughs> fucking little shit. Uh, yeah. 
Oh. What's that? What's close? They look quite good on you. They already know. Oh, yeah, because we talked to them while we were, you know, not dressed as a Bruno. <laughs> hmm? What do you want to sell? Hmm? You needed something else? Oh. Come back soon. You should talk to that merchant guy, though. Oh, it's you. What suck. However, I don't have anything. I end up going around this area, I suppose. Buy my stuff! Gotta go. Buy my bed! Yes. Now that's all I'm gonna say about what it being amazing. Oh, wow! So cute. Uh, oh my, please excuse my weirdness. Are you all by yourself in a place like this? Just it's quite dangerous, you know? If you ever feel even the slightest twinge of fear, you can count on me to help, okay? <laughs> <laughs> you fooled the pants off of him. He saw you not even not that long ago. It just has a moment of, I feel like I've met her before somewhere. She's really cute. <laughs> Gotta get the sand seal. Yes, go get the sand seal. Gotta get the sand seal. <laughs> oh. Uh oh. Oh no. <laughs> he just rubbed his back. Hey man, I understand that. You, sometimes you get back scratches. Oh god, there's more. Oh no. Please don't notice me. They're gonna notice me. They're gonna come fuck up my day. Mm -hmm. Do not. Do not, Do please. Do not. Do not. No, no, stop moving! Stop, stop please! I just want to ride you. Okay, there we go. Oh god! I love the sand seals. That's that merchant guy you met before. He just travels between Gerudo Town and and uh, Far Far Bazaar. So he's just basically was just kind of just kind of a constant staple. Yeah. He's just there. Oh oh! <laughs> <laughs> I've trained the seals. Dear diary, I rode behind a seal today. It was fun. I was on my seat. Saba! <laughs> they were threatened. Saba, we get a lot of highly environ around here. Welcome to Gerudo Town. No tradition here that only Vi are allowed to enter the walls. But strictly forbidden. Take your time here. Alright, goodbye. Ooh. Here's a tip. If you stop by the canteen, you'll find your you can do yourself a favor and order a noble pursuit. Let's hand down the best drinks I've ever had. Saba? Constant alert for anyone who looks suspicious. Goodbye. Ah. Since you're here, you really learned some Gerudo words, right? Goodbye, it's Savo. Works like a charm. Now I just gotta make sure I don't take my clothing off. You want the divine beast out here making a fuss? A little boy like you just strolls into town. Done well to make it to Gerudo Town. The chief keeps saying that everything's going to be okay, but thinking about the divine beast makes me so uneasy. Oh. This town is led by our fantastic chief, Lady Riji. Riju. She made she became chief after her mother, our old chief, passed away. Though young, Lady Riju is uh, was our old chief's only child, so naturally the duties of leading the Gerudo fell to her. There have been other troubles on top of the divine beast acting violently. I hear the chief and her advisors pretty I hear the chief and her advisors mm. pretty worried. Perhaps the Dorita is just to get here, right? Must have seen the giant walking around outside. Mm. Appeared suddenly a few weeks ago. It's a daunting sight. If you get too close to it, it'll lash out at you with lightning. Can't imagine what would happen if it came to, came to town. Chief says that the thing used to be a god who protected this area around a hundred years ago. But that story sounds too crazy to believe, don't you think? I need to think on it. Ah. Well, I'll just try to keep my spirits up. Maybe visit the canteen and get a good night's sleep. What's up? Hi. Oh, the Gerudo top looks really good on you. But you haven't lived until you've had several colors to choose from. What do you say? Different color. You don't know, really? Ah. The color of your clothes is a really trendy thing to do right now for a young bi traveling around, traveling me on town. 
There's a store in Hateno Village, the Kochi Dye Shop, where you can dye your clothes. Hateno Village is pretty far away, though. Not everyone gets to go there. Anything else you need? No, thank you. So nice and cool this evening, isn't it? Nights like this, I like to relax and grab a drink at the canteen. They're all telling you to go to the canteen. <laughs> They're very adamant about you going to the canteen. God, fine, I'll go eventually. Jesus, guys, God, wait. You gotta throw your voice when you're when you're talking to him. It's just like, uh, oh hi! Oh hey! <laughs> Rice and wheat. Can you finally make bread. All of them? I got three left, so that'd be thirty-six rupees. Oh, so oh, I gotta remember to tell my husband to get some more. Wait, husband? Yeah, no, they have boyfriends and husbands. They just can't be in the town with them. Ah, so basically they just gotta live out of town. Yeah. That'd be- that'd make a relationship very inconvenient. I mean, we who had a long-distance relationship absolutely would understand that. That'd still be very inconvenient, though. Yeah. Hello, don't mind me, I'm just breaking into your house. It's not really a house. People really crave home cooking, huh? Rather than designing an elaborate meal, it's sometimes better to make something quick, using a few homemade ingredients. Huh. I should really write that down. Savasa. Savasa. This class is absolutely critical for me. I've tried to cook some great meals, but I've only made dubious food. Dubious food? When you're cooking, if you add insects or monster material, you'll end up with dubious food. Mm. So if you ask me, there's nothing dubious about how absolutely inedible it is. Savasa. Savasa. Oh, are you interested in taking my vow and you? I'm a shy. During the day, I teach a class on the vow of the world, and at night, I teach cooking classes. <laughs> Why don't you join us? Yeah. Jeff Aratama's volume one. Yeah, I think this just tells you about the uh, different effects. Don't forget, you know, what kind of writing a difference with the different effects, you know. Bug part, monster part, <coughs> you'll make an elixir. Definitely afraid of insects. I get that. It says that fairies truly do exist in the world, but they only appear before the individual with a pure soul. One theory suggests that some special kind of cooking can be possible if you use the power of a fairy. Wait, what? <laughs> you can cook the fairies? Yeah. I kind of want to see it now. Why are you trying to climb where there's water flowing? Yes. I do like, like, how the water system works here in Gerudo Town. How, how they have, like, these really... Aqueducts and stuff? Advanced uh, friggin' aqueducts here, yeah, it's... Yeah. That actually is really cool. Is that a sand seal? Yeah, but it's a statue. It's huh. the sand seal's, uh, it's that lady's shop. She has all her... Oh, hello. Oh, look, I got a statue. So, what's up? <coughs> what's a vow doing here? Duh. Surprised? You might be able to fool all the other vi around here, but you won't fool me so easily. Don't worry, though. It doesn't matter much to me what you do. But since you came all the way back here, maybe we'll stay for a bit for a chat? Mm -hmm. Oh, the guy's statue's been here long since before I was ever born. <coughs> I don't really believe that stuff anymore, though, so they tend to avoid stopping here. Kind of like they avoid me. But someone has to keep the guy's statue company, so here I am. <laughs> <laughs> Such a treat to chat with a bow again. Will you give me a little longer? Oh. Oh. May not look it now, but I was quite the traveler when I was done. Quite a beauty, too. It was a rare thing for a bow not to notice me coming to a room. But I had a fairy tale notion in my mind. I had the lover's pond, and I thought I'd meet my true love there. Traveled all across Hyrule searching for this fabled place, but I couldn't find it. Before I knew it, I'd grown old. Bo no longer turned when I walked in. Oh, don't look so sad. I stopped being sad about it a long time ago, and I chased my dreams. <laughs> mm. Just live your life to the fullest now. Hello. Greetings and salutations. G give me health. All right, fine. <laughs> give, give, please. Or at least you said please, I guess. <laughs> Thank you. Da -da -da -da. 
Do you want to bring peace to Hyrule or whatever? Oh, hey. Hello. So yeah, you can buy a sand seal from her for 20 rupees or you can just go find your own out in the wild. Well, since they're not too hard to... Oh, hey, look at the door. ...catch and or tame, so... Hello! Wow. What's the password? Ah. Uh... G? Oh. What comes next? R? After that? C? What comes after and what comes last? Exclamation. Go drink milk in the bar or something. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was amusing. Oh. <clears throat> oh, she has a training dummy. Hello, my name's Rissa. My favorite food is salted rice balls. My baba likes to make. I've gotten very good at making them, too. People say they're almost as good as hers. Even, mm. wait, should I say grandmother, not baba? Um, maybe not almost as good. Hmm? Hey! <laughs> you it's really hard to just barge in. What? I'm practicing on getting a job at a restaurant, obviously. Sure. Sure. <laughs> I believe you. She just spooked that poor woman. How could you? Just let her practice. Just let her be. <laughs> she knows I'm there. She knows you're there. She won't know if I sneak in, though. No, she'll know. <laughs> now that she's been made aware of your presence. Oh, you're gonna tell her. <clears throat> Savasa? Great. I'm gonna last of my free time with that greeting. What's the matter? I manage a shop that specializes in handmade accessories, but I've run out of flint. I need to make my items. I had ten, just ten. If some kind of buy would give me ten pieces of flint, I'd give a nice mm. reward. I can dream all I want, though. Nothing goes smoothly in the real world. I use rubies, sapphires, and other gems to make accessories. Each gem type has its own power that can transfer to whoever wears it. There's nothing I can do with not, ha not having enough flint, though. I, I don't think, think I you. I don't know if you have ten. I think I have ten. Mm. Oh, you do have ten. Uh. What? You're just giving these to me. I mean, why not? Is that so <clears throat> But I can't take them all with you without just a sauce of all. We, we hardly know each other, and you've been so nice. Mm. The shop's been closed so long, I hardly have any inventory. Uh. Oh, of course. Now that I have some flint, I can make a jeweled accessory for you, if you're interested in it. Topaz. Topaz? Topaz. Topaz has the power to grant electricity re resistance. You, so you'd like Topaz earrings? Yes, please. <laughs> I thought you might pick that one. Please give me a moment. Is it even stronger than the rubber suit? No, but, you know. <laughs> Brand new, especially for you. You turned out pretty well. Yay. Ma. Thanks to you, I got the shop running again, so if you ever need an accessory, please come by for a special discount. Just don't tell my other customers, okay? And you'll want to go in there and get the amber earrings. Sabasa. Sabasa? Oh. Pretty close. You don't see my kinswoman wearing that style often. That it drives bows out of the world, out in the world of wild. I'm at the perfect age to travel and see what the world holds for myself. But I've barely explored this desert. Mm. Adventures won't, adventures won't come and find me. I know. I have to put myself out there. I like staying around the familiar. I guess. You though, you should see the world, meet new people. Maybe you'll meet a nice bow. So I'm a little traveler. Huh. A highly by, huh? Saba saba. Mm -hmm. My baba often said to never eat a hearty dairy in when, while drinking. I don't know why, but since she said it so much, there must be a good reason. I'm guessing I'd, you'd probably get stooped and drunk off of that. Possibly. Mm -hmm. You can just take all of her fucking melons. Give me your melons. Give me the melons! Mm -hmm. I don't really need durian. No, wait, hearty. Uh. Well, that's what all durians are. And that gives you resistance against electricity. And since I only have two of them, I might as well get the rest of them. Mm -hmm. Okay, but no, go in the jewelry shop and get the amber earrings. 
The amber earrings are incredibly useful because they raise your defense. And they're like my most powerful headpiece that I have in my game. Because <laughs> it's so easy to upgrade them. Since amber is so uh, abundant. Yeah. <laughs> you have the protection of the goddess. You don't have enough money. I don't have enough money. Besides, you have the Zora gear. You don't need the, uh, you don't need to speed up. I already have the diamond circle done. You I? do? Oh, goodness. It's morning already. It is. Time goes by fast. Just snoozing. Just snoozing. This is the end. It's also the massage parlor, I think. Because, yes, there is a massage parlor. Huh. I guess it doesn't really do anything for Link, though. Oh, you, you get some funny dialogue. Oh, no. Especially if they realize, oh, wait, you're a man. <laughs> oh, and also funny sound effects. Masa! Masa? Now, look, you must be the Highland Fairy was, fairly was ta talking about. My name's Coram. I'm fairly a uh, mother. We're in a shop where we rent out sand suits. Seems unlikely, but we're actually a thriving business. It's so easy for a customer to get the hang of it. All you have to do is stand, at your stand on your shield and let the sand seal pull you along. Of course, sand seals have all been trained. It's much easier to handle than a wild sand seal. We do need to talk to Freli at some point just because she's fucking hilarious and I love her. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. They just stare at you with like confused face. Like, what is she doing? Did she just climb the walls? Yeah. <laughs> Hello. They're just like I. Sava. I can just imagine them just imagine them just staring at like as he's climbing these walls. Just, just like super confused and it's just like that. That I don't. That, that, that highly vi is really fucking weird. It's not the weirdest shit I've seen, but it's pretty damn weird. Also, chest. Give gifts. And another Gerudo scimitar if you decide you wanted to get it. Hey, money! money. Fine. I'm pretty sure we're stealing. Pretty sure we're stealing too, but whatever. We're talking to Freli. Freli, yeah, there you are. Hello. What's up? If you're hoping to cross the vast Gerudo Desert Sand Seal serving is the way to do it. Sand seal, seal, you'll see? <laughs> seal you later. <laughs> no, just, yeah, do seal puns. What, is that some kind of slang? I wonder if that's a thing inside Gerudo Town. Anyway, the Gerudo Desert is vast. You'll want we'll to take a sand seal for traveling beyond town. And she'll start picking up the habit of just doing seal puns. And it's great, and I love her. <laughs> that's funny. You can go to the canteen at some point. Where is... She's on the other side of town. You were actually nearby it before you started climbing and going to go find, find a Freli. Oh, yeah. Good morning! I really want, want to use the actual Gerudo greeting, you know. Savota. But I'm worried I'll mess it up and embarrass myself. You know, like, look at me, I can speak another language! It just feels like bragging. Don't overthink it. Do you think I'm putting too much thought into it? Maybe you're right. Gerudo town is so different from home. I live in Rito Village. We don't get many visitors there, so I'm not really familiar with non rito But now that I'm here, I should enjoy myself. I wanted to start by trying out some of the meat here, but... Uh. Well, I don't seem to have poultry. I avert eating poultry. Okay, then. That's a lot of arrows. Dude, I don't necessarily need arrows at, the moment, at this immediate moment. No. <laughs> Unless I felt like bomb arrows, but... That'd be kind of a waste at this time. Yeah. Okay, the canteen's over to the right. Canteen's over to the right. No. It's over there. Now, I was gonna say, now before you go in there, I was gonna say, talk to that lady. So we were there the whole time? I thought the strings of the sandstorms over there never lifted. Hello. Mm -hmm. Hey, you might want to turn the camera. What's a highly invite like you doing here? What are you doing? Ah. I'm an archaeologist of sorts. I was just poring over some ancient texts I discovered the other day. 
<laughs> I finally decoded it. Not part of it, at least. But the rest is not far off. With this discovery, I'll finally be able to make a name of myself as an archaeologist. Mm. Of course! You and I meeting here is no coincidence. I never been one to question fate. I can't explain why, but I trust you for some reason. I'll tell you the details of my research if you can keep it a secret. <laughs> I left your sealed. There's a temple east of here, near the, the, ex the entrance of the Gerudo Desert. It's dedicated to the seven giant statues of heroines, said to be the divine protectors of the Gerudo. It was at this temple that I originally discovered the ancient scripture. It reads, When the symbols of the seven find their place, the blessed path will be revealed. That's all I've been able to decipher so far. I believe that people once came from around the world in search of the hero heroine's but. Heroic blessings. Mm. But as far as I can tell, it doesn't appear like anyone's found it yet. Mm. I'm not sure what exactly it means, but maybe I'll find it out once I've deciphered more of the text. I'm not sure if this is related, but it said that the heroines held power that was part of a bigger whole. Each heroine had different powers spirit, skill, endurance, knowledge, flight, motion, and gentleness. But they all look the same to me. I never understand this. The entire scripture before long. We should understand this entire scripture before long, but it's only the beginning of my problems. Mm. That divine beast has been moving around the area, making it harder for me to conduct my research. That's the thing is, no respect for academia. Okay, I was That's gonna say now go near those, go go towards the right, near by those windows. Because it there, it's either that window or the other one. Yeah, there it is. Listen. Hey, have you heard about the rumor about the fa about fashion passion? Mm. I have. I tried asking Solara about it indirectly, but she wouldn't tell me anything. Huh? Doesn't Solara work at fashion passion? Jeez, that's extremely suspicious. Say what now? Listen, listen again. Huh? No, okay, wait, maybe not. Oh. I think you maybe oh. need to like talk to them. Mm? Fashion passion is that uh, <laughs> shop that you were trying to get into. One of them has one of them has the fucking code. <laughs> Maybe you need to find Sala. Lasa. Lasa. Ah, you're highly invited. Don't see many too many of you. I can tell how old you are, but you look a little young to be coming into my shop. <clears throat> see you special drinks here. Drinks that definitely are just for adults. How about milk? Oh. Milk? Care anything as childish as milk here. Did Greta tell you to come here and ask for that? That store clerk is just playing a prank on you. Mm -hmm. Big doesn't she have anything better to do with her time? It's always so secretive about her shop, but hiding something just makes young people more interested. Well, you're a little too young to be here. What do you don't you think? Special oh. drinks. Now, there's a big part of the drinks is the ice we use from the ice house. Makes them especially refreshing. You're a little young. So Recommendations. Now, mm. Our featured cocktail is called Noble Pursuit. Many of our customers come here specifically to order it. Light, sweet taste, the cool sensation of each ship is like a drinking distilled motivation. But I'm not giving it to you. Because you're like, what, 17? I haven't seen Pokey around here lately. She used to come here every day to drink a Noble Pursuit, too. Oh, I'm sorry, I don't know why I'm even telling you this. Yes. <clears throat> I'm gonna tell you, I finally got my hands on the password from you know where. Mm. Seriously? Wow, that place is a little crazy, isn't it? Uh, Maybe, but I'm really interested. <laughs> anyway, the password is... Oh. Wait a second. Oh. Do you really think we wouldn't, you know, see you standing there and listen to our conversation? <laughs> it's so rude. This is a private conversation. Okay, now that's when you go around and go to the... <laughs> this person is oh, just knocked out. Knocked the hell out. <laughs> Poor lady. Let's try that again. Mm. It's not a little highly vibe earlier, anyway. Oh. Get her. Just hurry up and tell me the password, Yado. <laughs> That's right. The password. It's G S C uh, D Diamond. I've heard Sala talking about it, so I'm sure that's right. G S C. How are you doing that with your mouth? <laughs> How are they making the simple noise with their mouth? That's what I want to know. Well, let's find out next time on Sweet Sour Gamers. Oh, yeah, it's that time already. It is. All right, goodbye, gamers. Bye. How are you doing that with your mouth? God, now I want to watch Scott Pilgrim again. 
Didn't they also do a bit like that in Star Wars? I think so. I don't remember. 